Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to get my April favorites up because very soon I'm going to be leaving for Toronto and I wanted to make sure that this video was up before I leave. I leave on the 3rd and I come back on the 5th. So it's gonna be a quick trip, but as promised, I am still planning on vlogging for you. This is actually the first video I'm filming on an actual camera and not my iPhone. So hopefully the quality is better and you guys are happy with it. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything that you think should change, with the exception of my picture being hung and my other picture being hung right there. That is coming at some point. This room is very much a work in progress, as is my life right now. There's a lot going on, so uh, let's just get right into my favorites. So I'm going to get into brushes first. I only have two brushes that are favorites this month, but they are fantastic. They are from the company Pure, which used to be known as Pure Minerals. They've dropped the minerals part of their line, and from what I see from the brand, I feel like they're trying to be a little bit more current and a little bit more on trend, which I'm actually quite appreciating from the brand because they've released a lot of amazing products lately. So my first favorite is the Pure Blurring Concealer Brush. Looks like this. It's a really, really good size um, for setting your under eye concealer or actually applying the concealer like it's used for. When I first saw these and saw like the tapered shape of them, the first thing I wanted to do with them is set my under eye with them. That's usually how I use this brush, but it does blend out liquid concealer really well as well. The other one is the Pure Blurring Powder Brush, and this one's probably my favorite if I had to pick one out of the two. This is another one that's really great for the under eye area, but it's also really good for highlighter. This has become my go-to highlight brush. It just fits that spot right there perfectly. You could use it for contour as well. It's still quite small, even though it's a fluffier brush. So if you wanted a pretty natural contour line, you could definitely go in and use this brush for that. They aren't expensive. I believe they retail for roughly around $25 Canadian each. So for the price of them, they're definitely worth it. I haven't had any problems with shedding and the white bristles um, wash clean as well, which is a big thing. Sometimes I get these dual fiber brushes and the white part will not come clean no matter what I use. So I was pretty impressed with the quality of these. The next thing is something that I know I have talked about on my channel or maybe my blog. I'm not sure what platform I spoke about this, but this is the Clinoderm Nutra Comfort Soothing Body Balm. One of the most boring products that you're ever going to use in your lifetime, but holy hell is this stuff amazing. So the reason that I like it is it is very thick. It's a very thick cream. It's very moisturizing. It goes on so nicely, but you can get dressed right after applying this. So for me, I don't like to wear actual pants. I usually wear some form of legging daily just because they're way more comfortable and I just... That's just how it is. So for me, I always have trouble with body lotions. If I forget to put them on and I have to put them on and then get dressed quickly, I'm in my bedroom for a good 25 minutes trying to haul my pants on. So for this, this is amazing because it's so thick, it's so hydrating. If you have any sort of dryness on your legs or itchiness, anything like that, this product is fantastic for that. Um, I haven't really used a Clinoderm product yet that I don't like. They're not necessarily, like I said, the most luxurious or the most fancy products. They're made for a very sensitive skin type, which I am. So I appreciate the company and I absolutely love this body balm. I believe it retails for about, I want to say $28 Canadian roughly, but Clinoderm is a drugstore brand and it does always go on sale. So I have two foundations that I want to talk about this month. The first one is made by Marcel and it is the I think it's just called Flawless Skin Fusion Foundation. Um, I'm in the shade Ivory, so it's oil-free, all-day wear, hydrating, and hypoallergenic. I've had no problems with any sort of reaction with this product. And the shade match was really good for me, and now I feel like it's getting a little bit too light for me, which is making me panic a little bit. I never want color on my skin. I'm not someone that goes out looking for a tan. If I do want color, I'll self-tan, but for me, I just don't like getting any sort of pigment on my skin. It's inevitable. I know what happens, um, but this already seems to be a little bit light for me. But what I do is I mix it with my Benefit Do The Hula, and that just takes it up a notch so that it matches my skin tone perfectly. Benefit Do The Hula, I'm still using it every single day. I love that product and highly recommend that still. The second foundation that I have is the True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. And in this, I'm in the shade N2 Classic Ivory. I think you guys can see the names of the products and the actual products themselves a lot better with this camera. I would hope so. So let me know what you think about the quality of the video, if it's better or if you can notice the difference between this one and my old one. 
if you don't notice a difference, maybe don't tell me because I might jump off my balcony. <laughs> So this is just a basic um, cushion foundation. It comes with the same kind of applicator that all of them do. I usually don't use this applicator. I'm not really a huge fan of the way that it makes the finish on the product, but I usually just dip in with my beauty blender or a separate brush. So there's the product there. And it's a really, really nice alternative for someone that wants a liquid foundation, but they don't want the mess of it. If they don't want something like this one that you need to pump out on the back of your hand or on a palette, mix it and then get your hands off all of it. This one is like good to go. You literally just dab it on. It gives way better coverage in my opinion than the Lancome one. Now I love the Lancome Miracle Cushion. That's still one of my all time favorite foundations, but I do find that this one gives me a little bit more coverage. It has a little bit more pigment in it and it does give a really nice dewy finish without looking super oily on my dry skin. So I love this product. You can always get it on sale. I think the retail of this is like $24.99, which is ridiculous in my opinion. I think that the drugstore is getting a little bit out of hand with their pricing, but for the quality of the product, I would buy it. It's fine. I did buy it. So as soon as I said I did buy it, I feel like I need to explain myself a little bit. As you guys know, if you've been following me for any amount of time, I am on a makeup hiatus for 2016. However, opportunities have um, started to come my way with my blog and my writing, which I am so grateful for. And um, there's actually a budget given to me to get products to review. Now, it's not a sponsored review, it's not companies sending me products, it's literally a budget that's given to me that I can spend however I see fit just to do um, promotions, reviews, anything like that on products that I find and I absolutely love. So that money was given to me, so it wasn't my personal money. So again, that was a loophole, but I still have not bought a piece of makeup. There is a limited edition Quo eyeliner. Let me just go off on a little rampage here. And I can't remember the name of it. I, I feel like it's called Barock, like B-A-R-O-Q-U-E. And it's a limited edition Quo eyeliner. It's on a pre-pack right now at Shoppers Drug Mart and it is amazing. I swatch it almost every single day that I see it. I have to go visit it. It's $12, it's haunting me. I won't break down and I won't do it. I won't do it, I won't spend my money on it. I could redeem my optimum points for it, but I'm actually saving my optimum points for when I'm in Toronto because the Shoppers Drug Mart there has Chanel and it's gonna be nice to get a few different brands that I can't get here in Halifax. So that's the update on that. The next thing I want to talk about is going to seem a little ridiculous because it doesn't even look like I used it. Um, I did, you guys saw in one video that my hair was quite gray and it stayed that way for about probably two weeks. Um, the toner that was in it obviously has faded and I'm left with this kind of blonde ombre almost like what I had before. That's fine. It's a process. I was told that it was not going to stay gray and it wasn't going to be a quick fix overnight. But when it was gray, I absolutely loved it and I actually took the toner from my hairdresser because I wanted to make sure that I knew exactly what it was. So I took the empty box from it after she used it on me. And this is from Kenra Color. It's the Guy Tang Favorites and it's in the shade 8SM Blonde Silver Metallic. So it's a demi-permanent. It's Oh, these are phenomenal. If you guys have ever seen Guy Tang online, he's on YouTube. He is literally a hair god. It's unbelievable what he can do. He's, I don't know if he specializes in it, but he seems to do a lot of grays, a lot of um, pastel shades, and a lot of rainbow colored hair looks. So I don't know, like I said, if he specializes in those, but he definitely has a talent for it. I would never be able to afford him doing my hair. So uh, to get this from my hairdresser was really nice. The only thing is now I have no idea where I can find it, whether I can pick this up at Maritime Beauty or Sally's, but I did take the empty box from her and I will keep this with me until I die. So more products that I've been loving lately uh, as part of this uh, job that I'm doing on the side are drugstore products from NYX. So I went out and I bought a lot of NYX products and I have to say I'm really happy with all of them, one in particular, but I'll get to that. I'm gonna start with the NYX Color Correcting Concealer Palette. This looks like this. This is an amazing product, I love it. My favorite shade in it is definitely the peachy pink one here. Um, it's actually the only one that I've used because I had to photograph it first. I had a chance to play with the tester in store and the texture of these is so creamy and so pigmented. I absolutely love them. The only one that I wasn't a huge fan of on my skin was the green one, only because I felt like it was a lot harder to blend that one out and I had to really cover it with foundation afterwards in order to make it look natural on my skin. But that peach color, and I really like the lavender color too as well, that works really well for me. 
So I highly recommend those. Those are like $14.99 at the drugstore. Again, get a sale when you can. And I was super happy with that. The next is actually the lip color that I'm wearing today. It is a matte lipstick from NYX. And it is in the shade MLS 15 Whipped Caviar. So I'll give you guys a swatch here as always. So creamy and so nice and hydrating. It's literally, I'm obsessed with this. It's my new favorite shade. I can't see myself wearing anything else for at least another week or so. Um, it's just amazing. I love the formula. It doesn't dry my lips out like most matte lipsticks do. And they wear really well. So I can wear these for probably about two hours without having to touch up. Which for a basic lipstick that's not like a super long wear formula or a liquefied formula. I think that's pretty good. And when it does fade, I find that it fades evenly and it doesn't leave me with that ring around my mouth, which is the worst. I can't stand it. Okay, so the new range in makeup is color correction. Everybody is doing everything about color correction. I just mentioned that color correction palette from NYX. And I also want to give a quick shout out to the NYX HD concealer in the shade 11 Lavender. This is amazing for brightening on super fair skin tones. And it is pigmented. I love this. So this is the shade here. It almost looks just white on camera, but it does have that la uh, lavender tone to it. I really like to do like large triangles under my eye with it, down the bridge of my nose, through my forehead, blend that out, and then apply my foundation on top of it. And I find it just gives a little bit of a brightness coming out from underneath of the skin. It looks super natural. It's definitely not a concealer that you could wear by itself. It's definitely a color corrective concealer that needs a foundation or another concealer layered on top of it in order to make it neutralize. But it's a fantastic product. I absolutely love it. And then this was the big like wow factor. So if you guys notice anything different about me in this video, number one, I'm dressed like it's super hot outside. It's freezing. Number two, I have winged eyeliner on. And I mean like winged eyeliner. And I'm not a huge makeup uh, well obviously I'm a huge makeup person but I'm not a huge eyeliner person and I always thought that I preferred felt tip pens for eyeliners I always felt like I had a little bit more control with them and they were easier to draw on this matte liquid liner from NYX is phenomenal and it's actually a brush tip so the little tip of it looks like this I'll give you guys a quick little swatch with it here like it's amazing it's so black it dries down to a completely matte finish i've never ever had to go in with a q-tip and sharpen up my wing so for me to be able to get something that's like that precise that's a big deal for me now i went to makeup school i am a licensed makeup artist and i still struggle with winged eyeliner so if you're someone that gets frustrated and just thinks i can't do that get this eyeliner i swear to god it will be a godsend for you I don't find with this one as well, some of the issues that I had with the felt tips is I'd almost get a little too shaky with it and you would see little tiny bumps on my wing. Whereas with this one, I still put my elbow on a flat surface. When I glide this one across my eyelid, it literally just makes a perfect line. It doesn't shake, it doesn't tremble, and I don't end up with any feathering either. So this is something that I might... I need to do something about this because when this eyeliner runs out, I need to buy it again. And obviously that will be in 2016. So I'm going to need to find myself a loophole for this one because this is a must have for me. All right. And the last product that I want to mention on is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This is something that I have loved and I've probably put this in a favorites before, but it's something that I just pulled out of my drawer and started using again. And I have to tell you, this is an amazing Product. I really really love this. I love to bake with this on my under eye area. I find it really helps with the creasing that I have. My only tip is, if you can see how messy mine is, when I bought it I only peeled a little bit of that sticker off because I didn't want to expose all of the holes so when I opened it up it would go everywhere and it still goes everywhere. So my only word of advice with that is if you even get a needle and just poke down a few holes, then you can just tap it into the cap and use it that way. But it's a fantastic powder for baking. It doesn't make my skin look cakey. It doesn't make my skin look dry, which is huge because I do have quite a few dry patches around my skin and it never grabs, grabs onto them. It does have a little bit of a brightening effect to it. I haven't used the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. So if you guys have used that, let me know what that is compared to this one because I don't know what I could ask from this powder that I'm not getting but if the secret brightening powder is the same kind of a formula but it's more brightening I definitely want to try that one out too so make sure that you let me know okay so I almost forgot one favorite and this is a big one so when I 
first started my gray hair journey. Everyone was telling me, don't do it. You're going to damage your hair. It's going to be so damaging on your hair. They weren't wrong. It's super damaging on your hair. Um, but it is what it is. That's what I want. So I'm going to go with the damage. So I was doing some research online about protein treatments and I came across this brand and I still have no idea how to say it. I want to say Apogee, Apogee. I'm not sure. Someone let me know in the comments if you know how to pronounce this brand. And this is a two-step protein treatment. So what happened was I went to Sally's and I bought a little individual travel like trial pack of it. It came with this product and it came with the second step, which is the hydrating mask. Then I used it, fell in love with it. I went back to Sally's to buy the big sizes and they were out of the mask. So I picked up two bottles of this because this is the actual protein treatment itself. And the girl said that I could match it with any other hair mask that I have laying around. And you guys know I have a thousand. So that really worked out. I just wanted to give you guys a little quick rundown on how this product works because if you have severely damaged hair, whether it be from bleaching or over processing, color, whatever it is, you need to try this. But it is the most horrifying product I've ever used in my life. So number one, it doesn't smell great not a big deal i can completely get past that this is how you do it so you get in the shower you shampoo your hair you get out of the shower towel dry it then you apply this product which is very fluid hopefully you guys can hear that it's literally just like water and you put this all through your hair and you really quickly kind of work it through as fast as you can and it almost feels like tree sap in your hair it's very sticky it's very tacky it's really hard to put your fingers through it then you proceed to put a hair dryer on your hair and you dry it until your hair is completely dry. Now when your hair does get completely dry, it's literally rock solid. Like knock on wood, my hair is finished solid. And it says on the back, like under no circumstances are you to agitate your hair, move your hair, try to put a comb through it, anything. You get back in the shower with your rock solid hair you put your hair into the water and as soon as it touches the water, it literally turns into like silk. It's the craziest thing in the world. But the first time I used that, I was horrified because my hair was so stiff and so hard. And if you touch it or if you try to put a comb through it or a brush through it, you're actually going to snap your hair in half. That's how much protein is in that product. So it's only for people that really need a severe treatment of protein but I highly recommend it. If you guys want some more information on it, I can do a full length blog. Just let me know in the comments below if you guys want that and I'll definitely get it up for you. And other than that, those are all of my favorites for this month. So I will let you guys go. Thank you so much for staying with me for the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.